This video covers the assembly of the Warden chassis. For this project, you will need three hex head drivers, a 764th inch, a 964th inch, and a 332nd inch. For the first step, we're going to take this ABS piece here and attach these beam blocks. In order to do that, we'll need to attach the beam blocks to this smooth side of the ABS and screw them through from the other side. This kit comes with two lengths of screws. For this step, we're going to use the shorter of the two lengths. And those will tighten on using your 764 hex key. When you put these on, you'll line them up so that they are parallel with the outside edge. The, the holes, that is, are running perpendicular and the sides are parallel. Also, when you're putting these on, you don't want to tighten them too much yet because it's kind of hard to make them so that they're running just perfectly flush with the side of the plate, and you'll need them to be running flush when you go and attach the rest of the kit together. So for now, leave them just a little bit loose. That way you'll be able to move them, and when we uh, get finished with it, we can come back through and tighten everything as much as we need it. Okay, so once you have that attached, it'll look something like that with the eight running around the perimeter of the piece. The next step is to combine our wheel assemblies. So you'll need the wheel, the motor, and the wheel mount. Start out, you'll first attach the wheel mount to the motor, and your motor has a D-shaft, so you want to line up that wheel mount so that your screws are lining up with the flat part of that D-shaft. And you'll use the 332nd hex key to tighten that in place. Once you have that in, the wheel will line up. They both have a uh, hex there, and it just snaps in place. And then you'll use the 964 inch hex key to tighten that. So you have uh, three more sets of wheels. I'm not going to do that on screen, um, but they all go together exactly the same there. Next step is to make your side plates that will hold your wheels. So to start that out, we're going to take these uh, motor mounts here and attach them to the smooth side of this ABS plate. You'll attach those and you want to have them so that your screw here is facing down. That way you'll be able to access it later once we get the whole kit together. And for this part you'll use the, the longer screws. And the reason you want to put that down, that way you can access it, it'll, it'll allow you if, say, you want to change your motors or get them, take them off so that you can add new wheels of some sort or something like that. It just makes it a lot easier to get things, get them so that you can get your motors off without having to completely disassemble your entire robot. All right, once you have that together, we're going to attach each of these beam brackets here. They'll go on so that the screw parts are facing towards the inside of the kit and the flat part is flush with the outside of the robot. Again, for this part, we'll use the longer screws. one on the top. And finally the last one on the other side. All 
All right, once you have all of that together, we'll add the wheels and they'll just slide in there. You'll want to slide in the wheels so that the gearbox and the motor, where those line up, that sits flush with this inside of the motor mount. And then just tighten that up. Do that for both of them. All right, and you will repeat this for both sides. I've already done the other one. So I have both of them here, and next we're going to combine them with this plate. But before we do that, we'll take these two, the front and the back piece, and they're going to snap in to the sides here of the bottom plate. I'll just snap in like that. And right there. And once you have that in, it just slides into, and it's kind of hard to line up sometimes. Just take it one notch at a time. side again you kind of just want to go one notch at a time otherwise it's gets kind of tough to line up Okay, once that's together, we're going to use our attachment beam blocks here, and we'll use our longer screws here on the sides, take those through, and like I said earlier, if they don't quite line up, that's why you leave this bottom part here on the bottom, that's why you leave it a little bit loose, so that it can move to be able to attach to the screws. We'll get that on all six there. All right, next step is to attach our channel. You have three pieces of channel and they'll go here, here, and here. So I'm going to start out just with the top one and you'll line that up so that it's centered. And centered will make it so that it lines up on the fourth hole there. Do that for the other two pieces of channel. Again, you just line the screws up with the fourth set of holes on the channel. And when you're putting these together, you don't have to line them up, or you don't actually have to line them up as I did either. You can make them off center if you want but you don't have to or have the orientation the same way. So you can have them like this, or this, or this, depending on what you're doing. I'll go ahead and just put this one like this just to kind of show you what I mean. If you do that, you'll kind of want to go through the channel like that. Otherwise, it's just kind of hard to get to. All right, so the final step would be to add the top little door flaps here, and they just slide in. You want to go from top down, and they slide in little holes, and then they'll twist and just sit there flat. 
and that's how you assemble the warden kit. If you have any questions about this project, feel free to contact us at tech at servocity.com. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.